In this castle caps game to counter my opponent's capital I decided to cap inside the same continent. Also I put a big army of troops behind my capital so if my opponent crushed my secondary army, then my capital army would be unleashed and I would be still able to capture lots of territories instead of staying blocked. And with my opponent ending up capturing all of those continents and then putting all of his troops to the capital back, it wasn't too much promising position for him because he ended up blocking his capital army with lots of troops, without me needing to unleash it from the other side, since I was able to break through all of the continents without me needing to do that. My opponent wasn't able to recapture many territories, and I ended up having 6 troop territorial troop bonus. Then he fortified some troops outside of his cap, and I decided to do the same. So with him capturing lots of territories, I did the same, and also getting those lucky 2v1 manual rolls to increase my territories count even more. And my opponent just ended up letting me hold that continent despite having the ability to invade it. So then being in the advantage, I really prioritized capital's safety, as I knew that was likely for my opponent to go for my cap as his last chance to win, so I didn't have to become too greedy. My opponent after trading an A set went on capturing those territories, I simply after trading an A set did the same. With my opponent now being in the total disadvantage. And I just ended up holding A continent, and having A set at 3 cards I just decided to take the 98% capital blitz roll.